I thought it'd be fun to look at mod matrix and modulators. I'm gonna pick for our first sound my fresh RNV. Let us dismiss zone and mapping and have a look at our modulation matrix and our modulators. I will use the envelope 2 as advised here on the filter cutoff. I need to turn on filter 1 first to make this happen. And let's pick an amount. Let's go 82. I know I want it quite extreme for now. So let's see what we've got for the time being. What we've got is nothing special because we haven't completed all the parameter adjustments yet. So let's turn on filter 1 again. Let's pick a low cutoff. Ah, I'm going to pick 28 because that's a good number. It's got a fairly dull tone right now, hasn't it? So I'm going to pick it up a bit. Let's go to our envelope 2, which is here. And let's slow down the attack to give it time to rise to that cutoff of 82%. Do you hear that? Let's go back to the oboe sampler instrument for there is more under modulation I want to show you. Let us dismiss zone and mapping and have a look at our modulation matrix and our modulators. So that's our oboe sound that is looped. But I want to add a little bit more vibrato to it. I'm not happy with the vibrato I have right now. I need a bit more. What do I do? I go to mod matrix. I evoke LFO1, low frequency oscillator, on pitch. I give it some amount. I don't want modulation wheel to be affecting it at all. I want it continuously. I go to modulators and I adjust the LFO rate. But I'd like it to fade in so it doesn't sound so forced. So it takes 440 milliseconds to fade in for the LFO to fade in. Can you hear that? Let's dial the amount up a bit to hear the difference. I don't want that. That's a little too severe. You will find Sampler very, very handy. Not only did it locate the right keys to map your notes to, it has also located loop points in case you need a continuous sample to play. If you watched my quick sampler instrument demonstration, you would know precisely what I'm talking about. So let's look at what sample looping really means. You will see that by me playing this note, it is going through the sample. Before it gets to the end, it starts going on a merry-go-round in this orange segment here. That's what looping means. So what Sampler has done is it's found two points within that audio file which has a fairly similar waveform and amplitude and decided that these are two good points to loop it round for your continuous sample. As you can see here, and if you're familiar with how the quick sampler looping area looks like, the sampler instrument interface is identical. This sample is looping forward. If you close your eyes, it is quite seamless, really. This is how it would sound like in reverse. The loop, I mean, not the sample.
it's pretty seamless too, isn't it? If I pick alternate, not so seamless. You can always suggest the crossfades to help you eliminate those bumps if you really like that ping pong type of looping. Let's stay with forward, shall we? The trick to finding good loop points is to find a portion of your file which looks similar. So as I zoom into the very microscopic level of your WAV file and take a screenshot, you'll notice where the start loop is. It is selected this point here of the peaks and troughs of that particular segment of the waveform. This is our screenshot. Now let's compare it to the other end of the loop. They are almost identical twins. Almost. Not quite, but almost. Please like and subscribe if you found this video useful. Thanks.